this is Linda. Hi, I'm Maika. And um, I just wanted to make a quick little video. I'm feeling incredibly emotional right now, so if I get a little choked up, you know why. Uh, the Supreme Court uh, just made a decision. Uh, they ruled five to four uh, in the Obergefell versus Hodges and the three related cases uh, that the Constitution of the United States of America guarantees a right to same-sex marriage. Uh, Sotomayor, Kagan, Ginsburg, Breyer, and Kennedy ruled in favor, and in dissent were Roberts, Scalia, Alito, and Thomas. Uh, I just wanted to make this little video uh, for a number of reasons. Um, to thank all of the same-sex um, warriors <laughs> Uh, that you know that we don't hear their names, but have been fighting for many, many years for the recognition to be considered equal, uh, and uh, uh, in particular, some of the more recent uh, warriors of light <laughs> were uh, Evan Wolfson, uh, who is the um, spearhead behind Freedom to Marry. Edie Windsor and her legal team, which repealed uh, the Defense of Mar Marriage Act, Section 3, which then would enable Mike and I to actually have our marriage here in Amsterdam be recognized in the United States. So it was amazing for any sort of uh, uh, multinational company, multinational couple. Um, and um, most recently, Jim Ober Obergefell, Kelly Knoll, Kelly McCracken, Pam and Nicole Yorksmith and their legal teams. Uh, now, same-sex couples can marry in any state and um, every state must recognize licenses from other states. So this is, it, it, this is so huge. Um, a little story if you don't know about uh, Jim Ober Obergefell. His partner, John, um, had a uh, ALS, and uh, he has since passed. But when the Defense of Marriage Act uh, was repealed, he, he, he was with his partner for 20 years. His partner, John, was uh, in hospice, home hospice, and he said, let's get married. <laughs> and the short story is he, his friends on Facebook generated the $13,000 necessary to uh, lease a jet that would take them from their home in Ohio to go to the closest state where marriage was legal. So they went to, the, to, the Maryland, uh, to Maryland and on the tarmac they said their vows and they were married and then just jumped back on the plane and went back to Ohio. But then when they got back to Ohio um, their state, uh, Ohio, did not recognize their marriage, <laughs> and so it's it's uh, uh, it's it's been such a painful journey for so many couples. Um, I've interviewed uh, so many gay and lesbian couples who married, and just the just what they had to do to to be married uh, is really really over the top. So. Um, I'm feeling very emotional because it's a really big day, and I really, really want to thank all my dear friends, all the straight people out out there, you know, that uh, constantly support same-sex marriage, uh, who've been very, very active on Facebook or Twitter. All my followers on Two Women in a Wedding, uh, you're amazing, and I'm so, so grateful for you. So this is a great day. <laughs> Let's celebrate. <laughs> Thank you. Love wins. Love wins. Bye. Bye.